How's it going everyone? So Apple this morning released iOS 18.3.1 to everybody. And along with this new update, Apple also released this update for other devices as well, such as iPad OS 18.3.1, Watch OS 11.3.1, Mac OS 15.3.1, Vision OS 2.3.1, Point one, iPad OS 17.7.5. And what's this morning update that we received? It primarily focuses on bug fixes and improvements in terms of Wi-Fi and everything else. In terms of features, there isn't any in this new update. Additionally, Apple didn't really specify what got fixed in this update, as all these just said was, was fixes and security improvements. But I have to admit, personally, I have experienced some bugs with the previous iOS 18.3 update. It came out last week, one of which was my log page. My widgets would like bug out. Also links to this uh, iconic wallpaper will be in the description down below. But so far my widgets haven't been bugging out. So it seems like Apple resolved that issue. However, I have been seeing reports, especially like on Reddit of some users who actually has updated their phone and a feature that was enabled on iOS 18.3 is that if you have an iPhone that supports Apple intelligence, Apple intelligence would be enabled by default. So it's always good to go back if you want it to be disabled and go into the Apple intelligence and series tab and disable it from here. If you want to make sure it didn't turn on after this bug fix update. Additionally, the notification summaries from what it looks like, it doesn't look like the uh, AI summaries are fixed because if we disable it and re-enable it, and we get that splash screen and choose summaries. Yeah, if we check mark news and entertainment it still says temporarily unavailable. So it's not ready yet. It looks like Apple still hasn't resolved those bugs to meet standards, Apple standards basically, unfortunately. And now it's not responsive. Oh, there we go. Nah, maybe it's just my fingers. It could do that, but that's, eh, whatever. Probably my screen was dirty. But yeah, that's not resolved. Now I have run a couple of Geekbench scores here before I did this update, just out of curiosity. And the latest score that I got was around 3,400 for single core and almost 8,500 for the multi core. Where previously, before I updated my device, this was the best score we got right here. Extremely close. The main differences might have just been throttle performance. But for reference, I did run a Geekbench score on the new S25 Ultra just out of curiosity and see where it stacks up. It still is pretty much ahead even before the update, comparing it against like the Samsung. Just the multi score, the Samsung does somewhat win, but not by an awful lot. So this one right here is 18.3. And then this one was 18.3.1. And I haven't seen any overheating problems too, even when I did this bench score because if we run a cpu benchmark test right now and i go ahead and warm up my thermal gun links to this will also be in the description i always get asked a lot what thermal gun am i using we are reaching temperatures up to 86 fahrenheit just let me see what the temperature is so far after the test results are done so we're about wrapping up the little geek bench score. It is pretty warm to the touch. And also my thermal gun is set to Fahrenheit. So we got a little bit higher score than previous this time. 3,500 for single score and almost 8,700 for the multi-score. And the temperatures we reach at max about 92 Fahrenheit it looks like. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did touch 93 as soon as the results got done. But it's cooling down fairly quickly. So it's it's still warm to touch but nothing crazy hot but i think i have noticed is earlier today after i updated my device i did went out my house pick up some errands and stuff and when i got back in i noticed my phone connected to wi-fi much quicker from cellular to my home wi-fi network much quicker than previously and i know that was a complaint i was seeing a lot especially on reddit the people i was talking to that they noticed that their device wasn't properly connecting to their wi-fi so it seems like apple did resolve this connection bug but we won't know for sure after a couple of days of actually using this and then i have experienced this but my camera shutter button sometimes would freeze on me hopefully that's one of the things that apple fixed but i think i just now notice is the smoothness of this animation look at that okay so it seems like they improved like the speed of the an overall animation a little bit as the shutter speed animation smoother it looks like it just feels smoother but still it's really hard to tell especially when everything is primarily like millisecond speed now for battery life i don't really expect to see a massive improvement in battery life maybe if the fixes prevent it to overheat faster or get warm quicker that's still hard to tell but don't expect to see like massive battery improvements maybe minor improvements or the same so if you were to ask me is it worth upgrading 
to the latest firmware update? I would say yes, especially since it primarily just focuses on bug fixes for iOS 18.3.1. It'll just allow you to have a much more better experience with your iPhone on this latest firmware update. But in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, we should start seeing the developer beta of iOS 18.4 be released to the developer betas, which that firmware update of its own should show us the next generations of features coming to our iPhones. And then it's rumored that sometime this week, we should also be seeing the release of the iPhone SE, the next generation, with that new rumored design, hopefully. But all I know is, for the official release of iOS 18.4 should be released sometime next month, it seems like. If we continue following Apple's uh, timeline, you know. But other than that, there you guys have it. That is the quick overview of these latest, of this morning latest update. If you enjoy these type of like quick update videos on what's new on your iPhone, feel free to leave this video a like as that strongly supports the channel, but also lets me know that you guys actually want to see these style videos because I have posted videos when Apple does release like new updates and I have been seeing a quite a few of you guys leaving comments. Let me know that a new update has been released. I have been aware of it. I just wasn't expecting a lot of people be asking me to make an updated video. So if you do enjoy these quick videos, leave a like. That lets me know that you guys do want to see these type of videos whenever an update comes out. So again, leave a like and of course get subscribed if you enjoy this, this quick informative information video of what's new overall, as well as this quick test that we do on camera. Thank you so much for watching.